viewers all around the world this is F Expression broadcasting you live on YouTube and this is Forex Trading Course 101 remember the three pillars we are trying to build and understand the strategy and or a system then we are trying to understand how risk management works inside the system, inside the strategy and we are trying to understand the big one, the psychology, the psychology part also inside our strategy and inside our system hello Stoyan, how are you? remember everybody we are in the intermediate module we are passed over the basic module and the beginner module so if this webinar, this lesson is challenging for you please go back to Lucas Copy YouTube webinar page and start to watch Forex Trading Course 101 start to watch from lesson number one and remember 90% of traders lose money in the Forex market worldwide and we are in the Forex Trading Week so remember the webinars are not trading or investment advice the webinars are for educational purposes only especially in the Forex Trading Week and before we jump into the live charts we have Mr. Reed together with us everybody he just said hello everyone uh, Mr. Reed is a door okay if you if you are wondering everybody how to become a proprietary trader how to become a professional trader uh, how to work in a hedge fund or a, in an investment firm you can talk to Mr. Reed on the in the chat okay hello Annie hello Miguel and please remember I have a 20 seconds delay on the chat okay so today I'm going to go I'm going to continue with the lesson for trading week but everybody feel free to ask Mr. Reed questions okay how does it work how to enter how much capital I'm going to manage you know uh, how long does it take to manage a million dollar portfolio or something like this <laughs> okay <laughs> okay uh, so feel free to talk everybody okay and I'm going to continue in the meantime I'm going to continue the lesson in the end I believe uh, Mr. Reed is going to leave his email or Skype or other uh, contacts so if you want to contact him and also remember for homeworks and homeworks and question you have my Gmail contact, my Skype contact and my LinkedIn contact. Hello Blake, how are you? So that being said everybody, let's dive into the live charts and let's continue. So we finished yesterday with Euro New Zealand I believe. And in the meantime if you have everybody some questions about some currency pairs so let's continue euro dollar or a currency pair of your choice and I remember I have a 20 seconds delay on the chat hello Isaac how are you <coughs> euro dollar okay so we are uh, remember everybody we are not going to learn anything new this is the forex trading week where we are trying to implement what we have learned so far okay in trading and Patrick is saying many thanks for the great introduction have a great session thank you Patrick feel free to chat with the students with the traders okay so euro dollar monthly chart first uh, we're going to delay the indicators we are not there yet and the monthly chart everybody so as you can see we have we have the original Fibonacci is down so we are still down long term and let's color code this in red something like this so the original Fibonacci from the monthly standpoint is down and we have also the contrarian Fibonacci pointing up and we have also Fibonacci of the confirmation right and we do have a confirmed C from the monthly chart let me check so A to B, B to C so this was the first right let's do it like this and this was the first contrarian Fibonacci oh let's delete this one delete this one remove and 
and as you can see everybody yes I'm missing some letters I'm missing some letters okay this is going to be 24 okay there you go this is the A and this is the B and this is the C right now up in here A B C it didn't touch the blue so green goes to green we are still we are still here right long term we are still down euro dollar long term long term is still short and of course in the middle the market can do anything it wants it's going to wave up and down up and down find the period of consolidation okay but if we're going to trade what you see the market is, is turned around still making lower lows lower highs and what we are trying to do until the market breaks this downtrend line we are still short okay don't go long not yet let's wait for the market to break this downtrend line and Patrick is saying a little about us at the at Adamis principle we have over 30 years experience in the hedge fund and banks I blog a lot on LinkedIn and, and you can find me great so everybody please feel free to talk to Patrick okay okay euro dollar monthly chart we are still down we want to short the market not on the monthly chart because the risk reward is not so this is the our reward if we, if we would enter right now this would be our reward from the monthly chart okay and our risk or the C or the A the stop loss above the C or the stop loss above the A it's not worth right so this is the risk if we are going to trade the Fibonacci numbers and the Fibonacci sequence from the monthly chart risk reward is not okay from the monthly so we are trying to enter we are going to enter from the smaller time frames and Patrick is saying we have launched a new offering prop desk one two three which helps retail traders find a seat at the real prop desk if you have any question please feel free to get in touch also if you have any macro questions please let me know okay everybody Patrick I have I have a question I'm streaming also in on the other platform not just YouTube and somebody is asking can you please describe the steps okay you are not going to see this question because it's on the other streaming platform it's not on YouTube but somebody is asking what are the steps okay so I'm going to read the steps for the, to the student so he can listen to okay so euro dollar weekly chart and let's delete the indicators delete delete and as you can see everybody we have a down Fibonacci original one and similarly to the monthly chart we have the contrarian one and interestingly interestingly we don't have a confirmed C so we this is the C up in here we don't have a confirmed C <coughs> steps to becoming a prop trader yes sir yes sir and again we have a down Fibonacci of the confirmation we have two Fibonacci's right we have the Fibonacci of the confirmation and we have a Fibonacci of the confirmation on a Fibonacci of the confirmation so the market hit the, the extension of the Fibonacci of the confirmation and this is the new sequence right now I'm going to delete this one delete this one and change this is the original one just let me check if I didn't make any mistakes so this is the first swing in here and the second swing is here 
and okay this is the third swing everybody okay remember everybody these webinars are not trading or investment advice what do we have here we have a counter trend line break from the weekly chart and because the higher time frame controls price movement and market direction on the small time frames we are going to have a counter trend line break also on the smaller charts plus we have here a bearish engulfing candle right so this is an, uh, an opportunity to short the market okay now remember trading Fibonacci numbers the higher time frame is stronger and bigger than the smaller time frame so I'm going to enter in this market right now and remember that this is not a trading or investment advice it's just for you to learn how to trade okay and as always you can reject what we are teaching you you can accept no problem whatsoever but this is going to be my reward and remember after you are entering a trade you need to manage the trade we have concepts and rules rule number one don't let a winner turn into a loser okay because we have news announcement during the months FOMC Christine Lagarde you know new president of the European Central Bank the non-farm payroll news event okay and the others so Miguel my friend again <laughs> with the I'm going to enter right now and I'm going to put a stop reverse order stop reverse okay this is going to be a stop reverse <clears throat> hello time to shine sir I'm just going to finish this explanation Patrick and I'm going to read your answer to the other student okay which is in the other platform I'm going to put a stop reverse order because I don't have a confirmed C everybody so stop okay it's going to be of course it's a stop loss stop loss plus stop reverse reverse stop reverse okay somewhere up in here stop loss plus stop reverse okay now uh, undock let's do it like this remember everybody you need to address your risk hopefully you are on a demo account okay and again these webinars are not trading or investment advice we are teaching you at least we are trying to teach you how to think euro dollar entry I'm going to sell market and stop loss points price price where is the price price somewhere at 1.12013 1.1.12013 1 and units thousand slots there you go submit submit orders okay we are in a trade okay everybody some of you are sending me emails oh passion I'm afraid I I'm fearful you know you need to train your emotions everybody okay can beginner use stop and reverse yes of course Miguel of course we didn't touch we didn't address the different orders but this is a uh, beginner stuff of course of course stop reverse is just a other way of saying I'm going to change from going short to going long but of, of course right so everybody technically speaking right I enter short remember I entered short on the weekly chart okay and my reasons to go short is the bearish engulfing candle from the weekly okay counter trend line break from the weekly 
market is making lower lows, lower highs, so we have a downtrend and the original Fibonacci and the market wave are down, right? From the weekly. Now, where is the risk? The technical risk is, well, I don't have a confirmed C. Passion, can you please write the subs? Yes, sir. So this is going to be the sub, sub A. Up in here, this is our sub A. This is here is sub B, sub A, sub B, and sub C, right? What is the sub C? The sub C is the highest point, not necessarily a high, inside this sub A, sub B boundary, after the sub B, before the market hits the appropriate the extension. And uh, sub D is going to be down here, sub D. Okay, I'm going to answer to a student, he was asking about the steps, so give me a second everybody. Uh, steps. The steps are, number one, we will give you a free assessment. Step number two, we talk about your level of experience and together come up with the plan. So you are going to have a plan, depending on how much you know. Number three, I will tell you exactly what you need and what to expect, then if you want to proceed, we will help you. Okay, so number three, you're going to decide to work with Mr. Reed or not. We obviously offer mentorship, but we will still guide you anyway, if you choose to go with other career plans. Okay, great. Okay, everybody, so those are the steps if you want to work with Mr. Reed and to have a chance to enter like a proprietary trader or a hedge fund trader or investment bank trader, you know, whatever. But Mr. Reed has connections, okay? He is willing to help and he is seeking for talented traders. And please, free to ask questions. Miguel is asking, do you routinely deploy the Fib confirmation Fibonacci? Miguel, I shouldn't. Uh, I should, I should do routinely, but I don't, you know. In all time frames, I should, but I don't. Okay. I succeed. I'm ready. Okay. Everyone listen to FX Passion because he knows his fibs. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, Patrick. I also make mistakes. Time to shine. Said hello, sir. Okay. Can beginners use stop and reverse orders? Yes, they can. Can you answer the previous question? Yes, Miguel. I should routinely deploy, but sometimes because of lack of time, it's just an, an excuse, I know. Okay. I have to leave now and apologies. It was short and sweet. I would like to come back for a longer term, maybe another day this week. Yes, Mr. Reed, we have webinars every day at the same time from Monday to Friday. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, everybody, let's go back to the webinar. And somebody is asking on the other platform, Passion, didn't you say that our stop loss should go above the sub A? Passion, didn't you say that we should put our stop loss above the sub A and other A's. Thank you, Mr. Reed. All the best to you. See you in the, some other webinar. You are always welcome. Thank you. Okay. Passion, didn't you say that we should put our stop loss above the sub A? Now, yes, of course, of course, right? And some of you are screaming, well, if it's of course, why did you put a stop loss and a stop reverse above the sub C? Right? And the question is, what do you think, everybody? What do you think? The Fibonacci trading rules state, if you are going to put your stop loss inside the sub A, sub B boundary, you are increasing the chances of being stopped out by 80%. This is Fibonacci talk. 
okay so why did I do this what do you think there is a reason why I didn't put my stop loss above this sub A and remember there is no right or wrong you can say because you are not <laughs> listening to yourself <laughs> no it's not that <clears throat> what do you think what are the probabilities everybody of this trade what are the probabilities of this trade being a winner and this is the answer why I didn't put I mean of course if I would put the stop loss above the sub A my risk reward won't allow me to enter into a trade time to shine because you're looking to make picks if it reverses yes uh, your answer is correct but the answer that I was looking for my trade because I don't have a confirmed sub C everybody my trade is a 50% trade Okay, according to the Fibonacci's, I have 50% chance to win. Yes. Is this hedge? No, Isaac, this is not a hedge. It's a stop reverse. A hedge is when you leave both orders open. Okay. Hedge is very nice if you, you, if you know how to use it, but it's very dangerous if you don't know and if you are not emotionally stable okay you can burn your account with the hedges twice faster yes it's 50 percent yes correct so this is the reason everybody i have a 50 percent chance for my trade to be a winner so this is why my stop loss is not above the sub a okay so I'm preparing myself for the market to reverse anytime anywhere you know maybe some news announcement you know okay now this is my trade from the weekly chart let's go on the daily and let's see what else can we do from the daily chart daily chart this is from past lessons daily chart we're going to remove the indicators color code custom theme there you go okay so this is the contrarian on the daily chart this is the contrarian hb b to c there you go this is the contrarian fibonacci let me check where is the okay a to b b to c downtrend line let's extend this downtrend line let me see if the market hit the 108766 okay edit not label edit coordinates 1.0876 let's check if the market hit the appropriate extension let me check let me check it didn't it didn't everybody see it didn't it came a few pips short so this is why from the daily we are still down right and from the daily chart we're going to change colors here like this and I'm going to delete this one we have a counter trend and break from the daily chart let me see this is the counter trend and break okay so if you don't have enough capital everybody you can enter from this more time frame and wait right now this is the fibonacci of the confirmation on the daily chart and the market already hit the d extension which is the red one red is up in here and red is down here so the trading plan for this week maybe the next week okay is going to be this remember this is not trading advice or investment advice so wait for the 
market wait for the market to retrace and enter with the next CTB stands for the stands for counter trend and break uh, with proper risk reward proper risk reward okay so this is the sub right but this is the plan okay it's just a matter of time when the market is going to retrace and we have passed support down here we have passed support so wait for the market to hit the pass support at pass support most likely is going to retrace and when the time comes short the market okay uh, I don't have a D yet the market must make a low so but you can project somewhere in here this is going to be the next and look everybody how this sub how this Fibonacci of the confirmation the D extension of the Fibonacci of the confirmation is almost at the exact level as the original Fibonacci. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Of course, this is a projected Fibonacci, but if I point my Fibonacci down to pass support, this is going to be the new sequence, and the D extension is almost at the same level as the D extension of the Fib original Fibonacci. Isn't this interesting, huh? Passion, I don't <laughs> believe in the Fibonacci. Don't worry, don't worry. You, I, there are some of you, they don't believe, they don't like, you know, no problem, we, we talked about this already. Go find another tool. You have Elliott Waves, Ichimoku, Pitchfork, Gan, you know. Okay, no problem. You don't need to trade Fibonacci if you don't like or if you don't believe them. You know, no problem. Okay, everybody, this is the plan for Euro Dollar. Okay, and remember, you need to address your risk reward. Okay, if you can put the stop loss above the A. Okay. If you can put the stop loss above the C, but remember when you are inside the AB boundary, you are increasing your chances of being stopped out by 80%. Okay, now if you don't have enough capital, go on this smaller time frame. Euro dollar four hour chart. Let's change the colors. There you go. And let me see you can go on the four hour chart and everybody the one who are going to trade with the Fibonacci's you must have it's a must you must have your D extensions from the higher time frames this is a rule you must have your D extensions from the other time frames on the smaller charts if you don't have you are going to enter in the wrong place shorting the market in the wrong place okay at the wrong time okay and then you would lose without knowing you know you will scratch your head you know and said oh man what just happened you know or maybe oh these Fibonacci don't work you know have your subs, have your daily Fibonacci, have your monthly, weekly Fibonacci on these smaller time frames. Okay, could be the 4 hour chart. And let's go on the 1 hour chart, just an example. Okay, let's start from the 1 hour chart. And remember, we are not going to learn anything new in here, we are just trying to implement what we have learned so far this is the forex trading week so red goes to red is this is the second one if I'm not mistaken of course and the next is green goes to green is this one one two three 
and the market already hit the, the extension here mm, this one okay so as you can see everybody this was the counter trend line break right and we enter here why because we are late with the webinar but we should we should have entered in here on the one hour chart okay and of course risk reward right so if you put your stop loss above the a you are risking more than you are making so or yes okay so if you would enter from the one hour chart stop loss goes above the or stop reverse but i don't use stop reverse order on the smaller time frames there is too much noise on the small time frames too much noise i use stop loss order from the daily chart and above okay but this would be a nice trade okay and if you are trading on the 15 minute chart well wait for the market to retrace and enter on the next counter trend line break in the end it's always the same everybody we are just changing currency pairs okay so we are shorting the market not until the the extension on the one hour chart but we are shorting the market until here so if you can enter right now right now you need to calculate your risk if you can enter right now not risking more than half percent or one percent put your stop loss above here okay not stop reverse put a stop loss because the small time frames are noisy there's a lot of noise and take a ride until down to here okay everybody you can still enter remember this is not a trading or investment advice okay don't come crying to me oh i won because of passion oh i lost because of fx no we are just one hour together the rest part of the day it's up to you you need to adjust your risk you need to manage your trade you know and time to shine is asking but is that trade on one hour chart not 50 50 still because of the stop yes it is yes it is yes it is time to shine that's why i'm telling you this is not a trading or investment advice if you are going to enter you need to be conscious that you have 50 percent chance for the trade to be a winner and you have 50 percent chance for the trade to be a loser okay so if you are going to lose on the one hour time frame and i'm going to be still safe from the weekly time frame right this is the difference when you trade smaller time frame compared to bigger time frame you know look my stop loss and look at the stop loss i mean it's not me and you everybody so we are together in this but look at the stop loss if you would enter from the weekly chart look at the stop loss 1.12 and look at the stop loss if you would enter from the one hour chart so 1 1.12 is the stop loss 1.12013 1.12 see there is a big difference big difference between your stop loss i mean the stop loss for the smaller accounts and the stop loss with the bigger account Miguel is saying we could bring we would we we could bring the take profit down to the daily dip yes Miguel correct correct you got it Miguel you can enter from the smaller time frame and profit take at the larger time frame okay everybody now if you don't have any currency pairs to check i'm going to continue 
here okay so we checked from starting from Friday we checked already AUDCAD, AUDCHF, we made a plan for AUDJPY, we made a plan for AUDNZD we made a plan for AUDUSD and yesterday we made a plan for Canada CHF, Canada JPY, CHF JPY, right? If I'm not mistaken. And we talked about Euro AUD, Euro CAD, Euro GBP, Euro JPY, Euro New Zealand. But then what do we do with no capital? You find another trade, time to shine. You find another currency pair. Okay, or you trade this, or you trade the small stop loss. Well, a general question is time to shine. The general, the general answer is it's up to you. Okay, passion. What should I do? What should I do? I don't know. It's up to you as a trader. You know the rules. You know the concepts. You have experience you know cause and effect right if you are going to put a stop loss you know what is the effect you know technical risk everybody okay what to do i don't know but if this was me i would enter oh but I, what if i lose i'm going to lose one percent so what i have 99 more to earn back but time to shine, you are right because in the sense if I'm going to if I take 150% trade, that's okay, but if I'm going to lose, 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 because I'm entering just 50% trades, of course I need to be realistic and talk to myself, you know, and say, well, I cannot trade like this anymore. So I'm not going to enter a 50% trade anymore. I'm going to look for 80% trades. Okay everybody, this is this is the lesson. This is how you should think. It's a probability game. But if you're going to enter a 50% trade and lose and enter in the other currency pair a 50% trade and lose and you are going to do 10 of them, then you are 10% down. So, then you should stop, you know? Oh, but passion said that I can enter. Yes, but look, what are you doing, you know? Address your risk reward, address your strategy. You need to know everybody, you need to have rules and we are talking to talk about this Forex trading week. You need to have a business plan and inside this business plan you need to have risk parameters. What is the maximum drawdown before I stop trading? Okay, My maximum drawdown meaning one loser after another is 5%. If I'm losing 5% one after another then I stop. Oh, passion, but you are going to lose the opportunity. It doesn't matter. I stop. It's my rule. I need to stop and I need to look again at the markets. You know, because sometimes the markets are just not following the path, you know, or maybe I'm not seeing. Most likely I'm not seeing what I, I should see, you know. Everybody, when I was losing, when I was losing, I was losing many times inside a sideways movement. I lost so much money and so much time, you know, inside the sideways movement. Because I was trading and trading and losing and losing and losing and one day finally, Thanks to my mentor, I said, well, my, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop if I'm going to have uh, a 5% drawdown, and then I'm going to stop, okay? And when I finally stopped trading and being angry at myself and at the market, and I looked again at the market, I finally find, found out 
why I was losing. I thought that I was in a downtrend, right? I thought I was in a downtrend, but I was in a sideways channel. I thought I was in a downtrend, okay? And then I lose 1%, I lose the second 1%, then I lose the third 1% not just one on one currency pair right and then I stopped so I, I went back on the higher time frames and I saw I said oh thanks God I stopped at 5% if I wouldn't stop I could dig a 20% 30% hole you know and of course sometimes is the market is just not doing what it's supposed to do okay but most likely, I'm talking to my, I'm talking uh, about myself. Most likely, I'm not seeing when I'm losing trades one after the other. Most likely, I'm not seeing the big picture. But this is my role. Okay, you need to have your roles, everybody. Selective trader, we should. Yes, Isaac, can you continue with the answer or with the question? How did you start noticing you are now in sideways channels from before? When the market breaks my Fibonacci three times. Breaks the Fibonacci the first time, I'm going to revert the Fibonacci from the second time. And when the Fibonacci breaks for the third time, I am 90% sure that I'm in a sideways channel. So if I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose maximum 2, maybe 3%. If I'm out of office, if I'm not sleeping, you know. This is one great thing about the Fibonacci, everybody. Especially for the one that, oh man, passion, I hate Fibonacci, you know. When the market breaks your Fibonacci for the third time, you have 95% chance, 95% chance that we are sideways. Why is that? Because the Fibonacci's don't work in a sideways environment. Okay, time to shine. How you should, how you are going to find that you are sideways? The market is going to break your Fibonacci three times. Okay. Selective trader, we should be. Yes, Isaac, I agree with you. Next. So this is Euro Dollar GBP. Okay, let's check the GBP pairs. Brexit is not over. You know, we have a fundamental risk on all the GBP pairs. So let's wait. And let's check our trades everybody. We, let me see if I can put on the screen the trades from Friday. From Friday, come on. There you go, we went short on AUD CAT. See everybody? We went short on AUD CAT on Friday, we are still in profit. We went short on AUD JPY, we are losing a little bit. We went long yesterday on Euro CAT and we are short today, Euro Dollar. See? On Friday we entered short, every decade we are still in profit. I don't remember, maybe it was Monday, we were short the AUD JPY. I remember yesterday was Euro CAD and today is Euro Dollar short. Okay, so this is the profit and loss statement. So let's check the GBP pairs. Yes, you should select your Trades, yes sir. Okay, Fibonacci trading. This is the GBP AUD weekly chart. Let's check first the monthly. 
where is the monthly weekly daily monthly maybe this one let me see okay let's remove everything remove all okay everybody so we have a down Fibonacci on the monthly chart remember this Fibonacci is not going to work because we are at the position area okay but as we said we have a fundamental risk on the GBP pairs and it's called Brexit okay now the market is slowly moving its way up to the long term downtrend line okay so right now trade what you see well we should go up right so we are trying to go long on GBP AUD okay but remember all the GBP pairs are risky I'm talking about the fundamental risk because of the Brexit okay but trade what you see what what can we see well the market is making higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs okay this is the monthly chart let's go on the weekly weekly chart the same picture you know and from the weekly well the train has left the station the entry from the weekly was here right now we have what appears to be a counter trendline break from the weekly so maybe this is going to be an opportunity on the smaller charts okay stop loss here and let's go on the daily daily chart remove all where are the Fibonacci so yes this was the entry okay this is not valid anymore A to B A to B B to C the market didn't hit the blue line so A B and text this is going to be the C this is going to be the C down here and what we can we draw we can draw a Fibonacci of the confirmation Fibonacci of the confirmation is here didn't hit the blue if I'm not mistaken and Fibonacci retracement okay this is important let me double check if it hit the blue let me check okay the blue is at what let me check what's the blue seven no it didn't hit so green goes to green green goes to green so green goes to green there you go nice profit huh, everybody but it's risky remember Time to shine. Should you not really be going in the same direction with the euro pairs? One is suggesting strength long for the euro, the other is suggesting weakness for the euro. They, they are not... Time to shine. Great question. What do you think? Why, what do you think before I give you the answer? Great question. What do you think? And in the meantime, everybody, I'm going to enter long on GBP AUD daily chart with the stop reverse this time. Stop reverse. Okay, why not? We have a counter trend line break with the bullish and wolfing candle. At what? Where is the past? Where is the past support? I don't see it past support okay so I'm going to enter in the meantime okay undock and exit and let's enter right I'm going to risk half percent one percent on this one 
so entry by the market stop loss and it's going to be a stop reverse because I don't have a confirmed C stop reverse at points no price there you go what's the price 1852561852561852566 submit there you go we are in the trade You didn't check if that was a confirmed C. I know already time to shine. I know already it's not confirmed, okay? But you're right. As a beginner trader, you are absolutely correct. Let's check. So, this is our contrarian Fibonacci. This is, and let's change colors. This is our contrarian Fibonacci and the second contrarian. We are still in the first contrarian Fibonacci. Okay, time to shine. See? We are long, long, long away. Most likely, when you have enough experience, most likely the Fibonacci's are going to have a conformity where they are near 36.8, the less green retracements. Starting from here, then that the extension generally gets above or above the A. From the original FIBS, I mean, uh, it doesn't matter because I'm not trading the original one, I'm trading the sub. Okay? Everybody, don't mix apples with bananas. This is extremely dangerous, time to shine. Thank you for your question because. A lot of people do this mistake, everybody, this is extremely important, don't mix apples with bananas, okay? Thank you, time to shine. Listen very carefully, okay? If you have a confirmed C from your daily, I mean from your original from your original Fibonacci okay if you have a confirmed C from your original Fibonacci don't be so sure that all the that all the Fibonacci of the confirmation are going to be winners because the market can do anything it wants it can go sideways, it can go up and down it can reverse and find another deeper C. Okay? This is so important if you're going to trade with the Fibonacci. Don't mix apples with bananas. Address the technical risk with what you are trading. Okay, everybody? And I'm trading. It doesn't matter if the original one has a confirmed C. I'm not trading the original one. I'm trading the sub. And thank you, time to shine. I mean, thank you to all of you that are asking questions so the others that are quiet can learn. Right? Okay, everybody, our time is up. See you back tomorrow with another day of the Forex Trading Week. And as always, if you have a currency pair that you want to check or you are trading a currency pair, you are in a position, feel free to type in the chat. If not, we are going aleatory with the other currency pairs. So until tomorrow, stay strong and trade with passion. This is FX Passion, signing off.